Hi, I'm Keith Colossa. I'm the Hernando County Waterways and Aquatic Services Manager. Yeah, I wanted to highlight some of the work we've done on the, the nearshore artificial reefs here we've completed at Hernando County and also uh, what we're planning on doing in the future. We're, we've actually deployed some of the first nearshore shallow water reefs here along the Adventure Coast um, back in 2017 and 18. And these are uh, placed in areas where there's not a lot of habitat or structure for, for fish. So there's areas off our coast that are, are pretty much void of rocky bottom and structure and things that attract fish and uh, bait fish and, and marine life. So what we've done is we've been able to deploy uh, things called reef balls, which provide shelter for bait fish and other types of fish here in uh, the shallow water areas that are a natural sand bottoms where there isn't anything growing. And we're creating habitat um, for all sorts of different types of fish and also providing places for people to, to go snorkel when they're out scalping and some really interesting things for them to see while they're out uh, fishing and um, something else other than just seagrass, they get to go snorkel and see the marine life around these reef ball structures. So one of the really key things the reef ball reefs have done is that we place them in these areas where we need, want, we're trying to increase the population of grouper, specifically gag grouper, because that's a, a, a type of fish that a lot of people come here to our county to, to fish for. So the reef balls are, provide a, a really good structure and a home for juvenile or, or young grouper to live in while they grow up and then they'll migrate offshore. And we've seen some really good numbers on these reefs uh, so far of the, the smaller grouper. And the other thing is these reefs uh, tracked bait fish. So when they bring in bait fish, they bring in a lot of other types of fish like cobia, mackerel, things that people fish for. So they provide a foraging ground and also uh, a spawning area for some of the other uh, pelagic fish. So, and it, and it provides a really, like I said earlier, a great place for people to get out and see marine, different types of marine life because they, these things are located in shallow water and um, it's only 12 feet deep and it's a good place to just get out and snorkel and see things like sea turtles and even um, small um, nurse sharks and small types of uh, other sharks that you might see while you're out there snorkeling. Here at Hernando County uh, Waterways, we've got a great team that have been working on creating fisheries habitat and doing projects that uh, enhance our fisheries and promote conservation of the marine environment. I hope to see you out at the artificial reefs and the, the reef ball reefs and uh, check back with us on our website. We'll be posting the coordinates to those reef ball shallow water reefs so that you can uh, go out there and visit them.